All right, I'm back again. Got my wolf snare. Got it wrong. I'm just bringing this one back for a uh, a test fit. It looks a little bit dark out here. That's because it's about seven in the evening. Oh no, wait, no. It's 10.30 in the morning. <laughs> very, very, very dark. That's why you gotta get a, everything done. So as I, I was talking in my last, uh, my last video about these potent uh, fox lure, or fox urine, raccoon urine, and mink bait with the skunk and all kinds of stuff. Uh, I'm gonna try something a little different. See what I can see what I can get away with with the snare. Uh, I, this is why you have to do all your preseason work. Next year, if I decide to do it, if it pays good enough this year, so far I'm at three otters. If it pays good enough, I'm going to basically uh, get an early start on it next year. In fact, what I'll probably do in in the spring or whatever is just start building everything up for next year so it's just like okay ready to go and then early midsummer like i normally do when it's nice out uh reboil my traps stuff like that hopefully have some money to reinvest into my gear on the top of the list uh, one of the things you're going to do when you're trapping is you're going to make yourself lists of all the stuff you need and want and and stuff like that and uh, stuff to replace right now i went to put my hip waders on today and uh, you know my slogan is everything I own is breaking broken or about to break down <laughs> pretty much disconnected the top end of my uh, hip waiter so I'm down to these things these are I don't know how long these will last these things are like two sizes too small for me and they're like size eight so I take size 11 so my feet are very very compact right now <laughs> but it's the only boots I got left uh, but I gotta make it till spring uh, that that's just kind of is what it is. There's a tree carcass on the road. I wonder how that got there. Probably from the road fairies. Yeah, the road fairies did a good job. You know, uh, it, it was a little bit mild the last past couple of days. Uh, you know, it's kind of, you know, people get kind of, when they don't go outside enough, they think every little, like, little weather change is global warming or something like that and it's, it's not like that you get a, a cold spell for about two weeks you get a warm spell for or a mild spell for about two weeks and yesterday was windy as hell i got this the third order all pinned up yesterday but uh my laptop was full my uh gopro was full so i wasn't able to uh film it with the gopro you know kind of first person there so you guys can see how it's you know the pinning of that uh but anyway i gotta make like lists of stuff and whatever to of stuff that you're going to need to replace and all that um the lures will ever buy more lures you can make it like i mean uh the first beaver you get you got yourself some dandy lure right there you just take the beaver tail chalk it up and chunk it up and render the fat the uh you can do this with pretty much any animal, really. It's just beavers are really rich in fat, so uh, you can do it with them. Um, yeah, so pretty much all the gear I have is pretty much worn out, but by early spring, uh, like I said, I'll probably, you know, the end of uh, February be the last I'll trap if I if I trap that long. Uh, I think this year is going to be a shorter season, uh, but we'll, we'll depend because I mean. Uh, starting maybe not tomorrow but the day after i'm going to get out to that other beaver dam now the only problem i have with that is in order to fund the rest of my season fuel wise i need to catch at least two beavers <laughs> you know at an average of 25 bucks a beaver or one beaver at about 40 to 60 dollars uh that will fund probably all the fuel i need running back and forth to that other little dam uh, well, it's actually not little, it's humongous. It's like three massive dams. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do starting next week. Today, my goal is to finish up my other little traps. So there's like four to put out. If I can get all four of them out, that's great. Then I can start focusing on the wolf snares, stuff like that. I also have to reload uh, some wolf uh, fur, fur gun rounds. There'll be uh, 308 110 grainers and 308 three, uh, 130 grainers uh, but I want to just kind of double uh, double check the zero of my rifle 
so before I start hunting because I want to be like I say my whole goal with this is is about being ethical and stuff like that right so that, that, that's you know what you should always be striving for is ethicalness and uh, might as well. I, I was gonna bring my other trapping out uh, knife out today my big uh, SB10 Marine Raider and you know what Binky said no I want to go outside today I retired this knife this is my second trapping knife my first trapping knife I still have it I've had it since as a kid in fact last night I found my first jackknife uh, or at least the, the one I remember the most anyway and I still have it and uh, I gotta start doing more knife stuff uh, because I'm watching all these like kni knife videos and they're always ridiculous now, okay this thing has been abused there's no doubt about that but most of this is just regular wear and tear the throwing it and shit like that is that's that's what's messed it up so much I don't do that anymore with it but as a baiting knife as a bushwork knife the K bar is a nice all around but it's a bit big uh, for most things but as a trapping knife it's a bit small uh, as a bush knife because you're doing the spruce boughs and stuff like that now, as I explained the, you know a little a little more reach of like the tomahawk or the uh, the other knife makes it a lot easier but I'm going to talk about knives maybe in my next video.